Hey everybody, happy Halloween from the Rose Garden today. I don't have too much to talk about in terms of roses, but I wanted to wish everybody a happy Halloween, especially if I'm gonna dress up as Buddy the Elf. Since we're talking about roses, I do wanna show you a little something we did in the garden today with our family. We're gonna do a little bit of trick-or-treating, but with everything going on, we're not gonna hit as many houses. So we decided to treat it like an Easter egg hunt in the springtime. That's all over with, but we did find some nice haunting spots. Um, I'm always a big promoter of having a rain gauge, uh, so that was one spot. I borrowed that from the kids to show you that. I'll show you one of the other hiding spots here coming up. I do want to show some nice blooms. We mentioned in the last couple of videos, with it being fall, the color on these is just outstanding. Uh, this is Double Delight right here, and I've got a apologize to my son that likes Yolande de Aragon. I mentioned it's only a one-time bloomer, usually in the spring. Um, it's something interesting in all the literature, it says it blooms throughout the year and I pruned it for the first time and voila, that's an old garden rose. Uh, it's Yolande de Aragon introduced in 1843. I'm not a big fan of the um, you know, the, the way it looks. It is pretty, I, I gotta admit, um, but I kinda like the hybrid tea form of roses more. But the outstanding thing about this too, the color and the smell is just amazing. But we pruned about six weeks ago now, um, just to really take this bush down, because it was quite high. Uh, it was approaching eight and a half feet, and you can see all the new growth on top. But um, one of the last videos I did, I was teasing, I've only had three blooms in the fall, but those are three I just showed you there, and there's a lot more buds coming. And if I can go around this side, this is a pretty good example of this. Excuse some of the black spot I'm still fighting, but here's one of those cuts I made uh, pruning, and here's a new cane, new growth, new bud. And that's pretty much, pretty much what is happening uh, all over this bush, wherever I trimmed off. Uh, now we have these new long green shoots um, with buds. Um, so again, not only are we seeing full blooms now, and that's magnificent, we've got a lot of buds coming, just telling us we're gonna have more. So good news on Yolande, I was gonna keep her anyway, um, but it's looking even better with regards to repeat blooms. I'm happy about that. Dolly Parton is another fragrant rose. This is not gonna look the prettiest on the video, but it's a huge, huge bloom. A very, very big bloom uh, in the garden. And one of the last ones I want to show you, uh, whenever I do these videos, I kind of take a quick look, see what's blooming well. When you grow over 40 roses and their exhibition form, you're bound to get some like this. That's Gemini, and you can see why it's a top-rated rose in the uh, rose shows. So again, happy Halloween to everybody. Hope everyone's staying safe. Oh, I forgot to mention that second spot. So we did our Easter egg slash Halloween hunt and these conduit pipes that we use to hold up the roses made for a good hiding location. Uh, so we hid some throughout the yard, uh, including the rose garden itself. Just a little something different. As I mentioned, we're gonna do some trick or treating on the light side tonight. Um, but they could get out and enjoy our backyard a little bit safer than the rest of the neighborhood. I'll end with this. This is Dublin. It was actually bred down here in Virginia and North Carolina, I think North Carolina, um, from you know a while back, but a very, very nice ex uh, exhibition rose. Um, one thing, it does get some uh, burnt um, petals on the edge, especially when it's intense summer heat, but now that we're much uh, cooler, here in the fall, outstanding bloom on it. Like I said, happy Halloween, everyone. I hope everyone's staying safe. I appreciate the new subscribers. We're up over 200 now. Share your comments below. How are your blooms doing? I know you folks up north are seeing some snow and freezing conditions, so your season has just about come to an end. Down south here, we've got at least a couple more weeks, but even us will be uh, cooling off here next week. Have a great one, everyone, and happy Halloween from Buddy the Elf.